Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Itanian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Back in Gale Crater, back to Mount Sharp. There are buildings on Mount Sharp. If you haven't seen them already, I'll show you some of the earlier structures that I uh, published uh, in some of my recent videos. And I'd like to welcome aboard all the new subscribers from Japan and Sweden and Germany. Uh, great to have you on board, guys. Thanks for signing up. Uh, stay posted, there will be lots more to come. So, right, let's crack straight on with it. Now, the first image I'm going to show you today is this one here. This is from Sol 1192. So it's fairly recent. It's not the most recent, but it's, it's only a week or two back, a couple of weeks back. Um, and there's this image here. Now, let me show you the main page for it. I've got the main page here. And here's the original image, the raw image. And this is one of the black and white ones. Now, as I've said before, these black and white ones are actually better than the color images because they don't have that terrible orange filter over them and uh, once you get rid of the grid that's on this which you can probably just about see um, they're actually much clearer and they don't have loads of compression lines all over them and that kind of thing so let's crack straight on with it now I've got uh, this image already t cleaned up now what I did with this is I Gaussian blurred it with a radius of 1 or maybe 1.2 I think uh, perhaps between 1 and 1.2 normally so it's only a very very small amount of Gaussian blur but that completely removes the grid let me show you the, the one with the grid on <laughs> I show you the raw one I think this is it here no nope, that's not it that's another one this is it there we go and when you zoom in you can see all these these uh, grid sort of patterns all over it uh, it makes it very hard to actually see any detail in the image uh, why they do that don't really know um, but never mind it, it's not that hard to get rid of you can either use a minimal amount of uh, field blur or Gaussian blur which I, I prefer because there's, you can, there's more control over uh, Gaussian blur you can set the amount exactly to how you want it um, and knowing that there are buildings on Mount Sharp I, whenever I see structures like this I get a little bit suspicious and I'm not saying this is a building but there are some in interesting structures and possible things going on around it uh, now let me show you now as with a lot of these things until you actually enhance the contrast on the image you don't actually see anything really uh, because a lot of the detail is in shadow uh, unfortunately the the Sun is shining from the wrong direction uh, in, in this particular case uh, but when you add some serious contrast to the image like I've done here you will see that there is an entrance right here a square entrance or door to this <clears throat> rather strange looking butte or, or uh, eroded rock whatever it's supposed to be now um, let me show you the, the previous enhancement I've done now this is just straight off of all I've done here is add contrast and brightness I think I used fade correction actually which does that automatically and I've also added a, a bit of a brown filter to it just to bring it to life a little bit um, I've turned the color temperature up basically to, to add a little bit of color to it so there we go and you can see the square there all I've done there on this one is enhance it slightly more I've gone in a bit heavier with the, the shadow and uh, up the contrast a bit more just to show what looks like a square door now why would there be a square door in the side of this butte or pyramidal type structure here uh, is it a building it could well be there are many other buildings uh, in the area especially up above this and I'll quickly show you some of you who haven't seen uh, some of my previous videos I'll quickly go through some of them now uh, just to show you that I'm not making this up um, there are many buildings up there. Here's one of them I published very recently. This is called the Mars Giant Hangar. And this one is directly above that area where I was just showing you. Uh, probably a couple of miles up. Well, at least a couple of kilometers up the side of Mount Sharp. And you can see here it has a door. It has uh, a, a kind of semi a symmetrical structure here. It has kind of steps on the outside which you can see on both sides here so it's symmetrical and let's play that through a little bit it will it will um actually show you some more enhancements in, in a minute but basically 
there are multiple structures on, on the Mount Sharp and this some of these are absolutely enormous this one here particularly is something between 500 and a thousand feet across so that gives you an idea of scale now you've really got to go back and watch some of these videos to actually get a, a real sense of how big some of them are because when you take them out of context like this you're not going to get any idea of how large some of these really are there was also this thing which is my favorite thing recently uh, I've done a number of videos on this but this is the, the shortest version this is uh, Mars Huge Pyramid Giant Ziggurat Tower of Babel now this is enormous uh, I estimate this to be at least 500 feet tall possibly a, a lot bigger it could even be as tall as the Eiffel Tower between 900 and, and a thousand feet tall uh, I may be wrong but this is this image was taken from miles away uh, the rover actually took this image a long time ago initially and it, it can still be it can be seen almost immediately on the side of Mount Sharp as soon as the rover started to approach this part of Mount Sharp from about about two years ago uh, this is from a more recent image which was uh, a bit closer but still miles away uh, a good couple of miles away from the bottom of Mount Sharp looking up to this massive pyramid structure which has a square rectangular sort of building next to it here which is probably part of it uh, obviously the, there's a lot of ruins around here so most of this stuff's not in great shape but you can clearly see upright structures and squares and rectangles on the side of this structure and you can even see especially if you look at the, um, the negative image you can even see steps going up the side so there's a step pyramid of some sort with a very large rectangular structure next to it and there are also buildings below it and around it multiple structures so check that one out if you haven't already Mars Huge Pyramid uh, Giant Ziggurat that was a, a recent one uh, I've done a number of videos on that there's also one I did a bit earlier probably a couple of months back now Buildings on Mars Digital Image Comparisons now this, this goes into quite a lot of detail about the actual cameras on the rover and the quality of the images that it takes which are usually not very good but sometimes they are they are extremely good like this one here uh, the, the hangar the giant hangar one the first one I showed you this one up here uh, is this one okay it's just here the giant ziggurat is way off to the right off camera here so you won't see it in this particular video because it's too far over but the, the rover has moved around and took some shots from further around since this picture was taken and it shows up right up in the top corner up here so there are a number of these large format TIFF images that are available and you can link to them directly from these videos so if you you want to download these images go to the video look at the description and there will be a link underneath for the relevant picture or source image um, but there are there are multiple buildings up here and some of these are really blatantly obviously not just natural structures like this one here you can clearly see right angles here this is a ruined building uh, f kind of facing that um, that giant hangar type building it's to the left of it but in the same area but it's, it may well be up to a mile away from it because the, 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 the scale of these things is so enormous it's very hard to get a, an idea when you're just quickly flicking through these things and there is this one which is also doing rather well actually this one Mars Dome entrance huge buildings and structures at Mount Sharp I think it's called and this is what looks like an aqueduct or possibly a train station or some kind of intelligent structure here you can see this diagonal line here looks like an entrance to this massive dome uh, and there is a sloping a very straight line here which slopes at one degrees now aqueducts incidentally are usually set to one degrees so that the water will travel from one area to another now it may not be an aqueduct it may be something else uh, but this area was once full of water this is the enhancement and even before you enhance this image you can see lots of uprights in here lots of upright structures and also above it uh, up here on the mountainside there looks to be like some kind of habitation uh, perhaps this there were people living in the mountainside here uh, don't know but there do seem to be window like structures along the side here which can be seen in some of the higher resolution images so there were buildings on Mount Sharp well, there still are buildings on Mount Sharp they, they all basically look dilapidated and ruined uh, so when looking at these 
so-called natural structures on Mars, a closer attention is needed uh, to to what may or may not be natural structures like this one here. Um, now, normally I would have overlooked that, but because I've published so many structures recently in this area, and this is at the bottom of Mount Sharp, those other ones were mainly much further up, apart from the dome entrance, which is further over to the left of here, um, which is only probably about a quarter of a mile away, actually, about half a mile at the most. Those mainly, those big big pyramid structures are, are, are way further up from here. Um, but if there are pyramids in the area, then every rock, every large rock structure like this should be examined in case there there are or is more evidence to be seen. And this, I do think, is. It's not particularly clear. Unfortunately, it's in shadow. But it's definitely a square door-like structure on the side of this thing. And what look like interesting structures up here as well. They may be windows. But unfortunately, the, it's quite a long way off. It's quite deceptive. The rover is actually quite close to this dune and, and was doing some examination of the of the actual sand dune here because um, of Mars having less gravity, of course, the dunes can get very large and, and quite steep um, and, and form interesting shapes that you may not get so much on Earth because of the gravitational difference. Uh, but if you look at this particular structure it, it looks like it's not very far away but actually this beyond this dune it drops right down into the into the lake bed and then goes back up so this is a good probably a good couple of miles away uh, I would say between one and two miles because um, the rover rarely gets any closer than a couple of miles to the actual base of Mount Sharp because there's a huge lake stroke riverbed going across here out of shot which you can't see and I think the rover would have great difficulty in crossing it because it would probably sink um, because there's wet sand down there. <laughs> so uh, they've been avoiding it like the plague for the last couple of years, but at some point they will cross it when they find a, a suitable crossing area uh, to go up Logan Pass towards those other structures that I showed you. And this this is a stunning image. It's one of my favourite ones recently from uh, this angle, it, it just looks great. I mean, you've got real contrast. Obviously, I've enhanced this image. You've got some lovely contrast in there, which I've added. But even there, just with a basic contrast and the color temperature turned up, you can see that there's a square structure here and other square structures in here as well. Now, some of the smaller ones are obviously down to pixelation, but that large one there can even be seen in the basic enhancement. So it's there. Uh, there's no doubt that it's there. The question is, is it a door? Uh, it looks like a door. It looks like some kind of intelligent structure, like there are all over this place on Mars. They're all over the place. There are multiple, multiple buildings up Mount Sharp. There's also this thing which I published quite a while back now. This is called the Mars Obelisk, Monolith and Pyramid Buildings. Um, this one I think I published about a year, well, over a year ago now, maybe a year and a half. This is one of my favorite finds. Uh, this is really cool. This is enormous. Um, this is not in Gale Crater. This is uh, much further away from there. This is around the other side of the planet, I think. Um, it does tell you in the description exactly where it is. And this thing is hundreds and hundreds of feet tall. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly, but it, it's absolutely enormous. And it's almost perfectly symmetrical. And is next, uh, or overlooking, what looks like a, a freshwater lake or hot spring lake, possibly. Okay, so that's well worth checking out that one, the Mars Ob Obelisk there. Uh, that's one of my favourite finds from, from the recent buildings I found on Mars in the last couple of years. So check it out, guys. And also, if, if you're a newcomer to, the, to uh, Artanian, then there is this free app, uh, which you may or may not know about, or may, or may not have already. There's an Android and HTML5 version, so you can put that on your iPhone, or you can even have it on your desktop. Um, this is completely free. And it will link you to, let's install it, yeah, this is a new computer now, so I'm reinstalling it on here. Um, this will link you to millions and millions of space images uh, taken by NASA, by JAXA, by by uh, the Russians, by, by, the, by the European Space Agency, by everybody. And basically what I did, I got fed up of having multiple apps on my, my device. So what I did is I got all the space apps out there, which are a lot of them are free, some of them aren't. I got all those space apps and I 
built them all into this app. So basically, this app will do everything that all those other apps do, but in one app. This will link you to all sorts of uh, interesting sites, as well as um, my YouTube channel and, and others. I've got a lot of the top uh, Mars Anomaly channels are on here. Um, there's everything on here. I mean, I use it when I'm on holiday or when I'm out of the house, if I want to carry on doing research when I'm traveling to London or whatever. Um, it comes in very useful. It has absolutely millions and millions of pictures to link to from here. So it's a great app. It's absolutely free. Um, if you do download it and you like it, please give it a, a, a vote up because uh, no one seems to be voting for it at the moment. Um, so, yeah, give it the thumbs up if you like it. It is totally free. There's no ads on it. Um, there's no advertising. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you soon.